Let's start with our artist prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear God, help me to create wonderful things. Thank you for blessing me with my talents. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Fifth graders, today is our second class of working on the Charlie Harper inspired cardinals. We will be completing our project today. Last class, we worked on our positive space and the positive space items would be the tree branches and our cardinal. The negative space is the space created in between those positive things. So today we are going to be working on filling in our negative space with color. Just a quick review on positive and negative space. We remember our optical illusion of the two faces and the vase. We also remember that certain things can show up in our negative space, which creates an optical illusion. So remember today we are working on our negative space. That's the leftover areas. And last class, we worked on our positive space, which is the, the tree branches and the cardinal. The supplies you're going to need for this week's art class are something to color with. I suggest markers work really well for this because they stand out very nicely and they help you get really nice thick lines so it makes it a little bit easier. But whatever you have at home will be just fine. All right, so we're gonna work on our negative space. So if you remember, our negative space is the area behind the trees. So like this area is our negative space. So with this little triangle, this little area, what is not our negative space is our positive space and that would be our actual tree trunks of our birch tree and branches as well as our cardinal is not negative space. So I'm just going to be using markers today. You can use whatever you'd like. I suggest using markers because it helps you get really thick lines. But if you want to use crayons or colored pencils or something else, you're welcome to. So I'm just going to kind of use whatever colors randomly, but I'm also going to kind of think like what would look good next to each other. So like this one, I kind of chose like lighter colors because they look good with each other. And this one, I choose like blues and yellows. So just kind of like see what you think is going to look good together. So what you're going to do is you're going to take whatever color you're using and you're going to outline like a line about a third of an inch from like your actual line and then you're going to fill it in and kind of trace that line. So I have that shape that my branch is in and then I'm going to grab my next color. I'm going to use pink and I'm going to draw a line. And I don't want it to be that thick because then I'm going to have to do a lot more lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a smaller V inside. I'm going to fill in the V of the pink. And then I have a little teeny tiny spot and I'm going to use dark blue. And I'm going to draw a V. And just fill it in. So you're following the lines of like the tree in the negative space. So for this area, what I would do is I'm going to take my color and draw a line in that whole area, following the lines that are already there, and then I'm going to outline it and fill it in. My next color, outline it, and 
and then I'm going to draw where I need to fill in. So when I go around the bird in this one, I kind of created the shape around the bird, but this one I'm just like, going to ignore the bird is there and keep going around it. Kind of like in this one, I took it all the way off, and in this one I kept like a little teeny tiny triangle inside. So your choice when you're filling in your negative space. All your negative space is filled and you are all done so make sure that you take a photo of your artwork and add it to Google Classroom so you can get credit for this week's art assignment once you are all done filling in your negative space your artwork will be complete if you can make sure that you take a photo of your artwork Go back to the Google Classroom and add that photo to the assignment. You will not get credit simply for watching the video. You need to make sure that you turn in a photo of your work to receive credit for this week's art assignment. Also, keep this completed project with your previous completed projects that you did at home. We will be returning to school very soon, and I'm going to ask that you bring in all your completed artwork, including this project, into school so we can use them for all sorts of different things like decorating the hall and sharing with our classmates. They will be sent home when you're all done, but I will ask that you bring this in to school physically, but also turn in a photo online. Thank you.